Hey guys, it's Frank with Celtech Solutions. So last time we were discussing some of the specs, uh, the differences between the uh, Samsung Galaxy AO2S and the AO3S. So here I'm having the AO3S. I haven't turned it on for you or shown you anything. Uh, that was kind of unfair and I thought I would at least do that now. So it's gonna involve a little bit of a startup. You gotta love Samsung startup, huh? Oh, look at that. Oh, you see me through the, the reflection there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, that changed. That's new. Usually it would show that circle with a smiley face, right? All right, now it's about time. Cricket started doing something new. <laughs> Starting up Android. We're gonna hit start up here. And I do need a SIM card to provision this. I don't know if I can fully get into it yet. While it's doing this too, this video is going to be sponsored by, separate from Cricut, this is a Cell Tech Solutions video, Raise Energy and Bucked Up Energy. You can find the link in the video description. If you've already tried it, let me know what you think of it in the comments. I tell you what, you know, it's really nice seeing a fingerprint sensor on a low-end Samsung phone now more security for those low budget phones. If NFC, more ways to pay. I wonder if maybe in the future, Samsung will develop a uh, more budget friendly wireless charging phone. So now we got it all set up. I love how Samsung has a neat feature, kind of like what iPhone does, where you can do the Samsung smart switch. You can either download it currently on your own Samsung phone or uh, look into the settings. You can hit next. So it's currently downloading the software. It's already got it done, look at that. And you wanna make sure you have the sound all the way up because it's gonna send a sound signal just to recognize that the device is right near it. And it's asking, uh, is the device you're uh, switching over from uh, an Android or an iPhone or iPad? You can tap the following selection, agree to the terms. And your methods of transferring data information over are either through a cable, and it's become even more convenient now that they have a C2C cable, uh, or doing it through Wi-Fi connection. Results may vary depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi. And there's that step right there. That's gonna send out that sound signal to your other device. We're just gonna skip that for now because uh, we don't have any other device to transfer from. This is just a demo phone. And there's your spot where you can log in through the email just in case someone's backed up on your email. And uh, if you don't know how to back up to your email, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video. I've already made one just for that. The next step is probably gonna ask to sign into a Samsung account. Um, so adding a Samsung account is not necessary for setup. It's a little more convenient, just another window you can go through for backing up information, storing. Um, it's also a great way, um, I don't know if they still have it, but um, when I had a Samsung a while ago and set up the account, if you forgot your PIN number to unlock your phone, but you knew your information to sign into a Samsung account on a, another device, computer, whatnot, it will let you unlock or reset your PIN. So now we're just gonna skip that, finish. And presto, we're in the phone now. Let's kind of mess with the user interface. We're introducing Android 11, as mentioned in the previous video. Type in NFC. During each uh, setup, there's usually four, six apps that are the main Google essential apps that need to update. Uh, most of the time it's mandatory over Wi-Fi to do so. Don't forget to do those. And if your phone tells you to do a software update, do that as soon as possible. And I know it's the same refresh rate on this phone, but uh, you know, I, I gotta say, it, it still feels a little more fluid. The same screen size at 6.5. Ah. 
sound quality rating is exactly the same as just a the biggest highlights I want to give this is just a little bit better battery life, um, uh, a more newer UFC or <laughs> UFC NFC uh, ability for ping and fingerprint for security. So not a whole lot different on the upgrade. I guess uh, it's just another way for Samsung to meet the needs of some of their low budget friendly clients. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and until next time, see you on Celtech Solutions.